Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Karen and if you guys are not new here, thank you guys so much for tuning back in. I am so happy to be back in office today. I've been out for five long days. I unfortunately had my wisdom teeth come out and I had to get those babies extracted. They were causing too much pain, which is the reason why I have not been in office for so long. I am now on day five of my post-surgery and I am finally feeling better, so of course I had to run to my office. <laughs> as much as I wanted to work on orders today, I decided that I would end up doing a cleaning day because the last time I was here, I did not leave my office in the best of shape. A lot has changed since my paint my office video, so I would absolutely love to show you guys what my office looks like today. Well, after we clean. <laughs> I really don't know how my office ends up getting this messy, but you know, it happens to all of us, no judgment, and at least I am here and ready to clean, so let's get started. to this side of the room. It's not even that messy, but it does need some work. This is where my most important paper lives. In these drawers here, I just have my, my little baggies for stickers, sticker packaging, printable heat transfer vinyl, cardstock, construction paper, photo paper, and then on this stand right here, I have my copy paper, my sticker paper. I normally have sublimation paper here. I do need to stock up on that. I haven't really found a use for this third one. And then at the bottom are a bunch of sublimation prints that I printed for Valentine's Day, but I never got to them. So I guess we'll save those for next year. And then I have my two printers, which are the EcoTank. 2850s. This one on top is going to be for my regular printing and then the one on the bottom is going to be my sublimation printer that I converted myself. And when I ordered this on Amazon, I did think that I was only going to get this shelf here, but it actually came with these side drawers. But I decided that the top drawer right here is going to be full of like my technology, which is my cameras, my tripods, my adapters, chargers, random things like that. And then at the bottom, I do have just more important things like my business taxes stuff, etc. Moving on to the messiest part in the room is going to be my craft table. Yeah, this is not okay. <laughs> Oh my goodness, look how cute this rose is. My fiance actually made this for me for Valentine's Day and welded it himself. So these are just like a bunch of little washers and a steel rod put together. And oh my God, isn't it the cutest? I absolutely love this gift. And I love that he's crafty himself. have your own Cricut mats, I do advise to be careful when folding it this way because I've cracked so many mats on accident just doing this. So just make sure you're super careful. Cricut here and then on the other side I do have my tumbler press next to my heat presses but those are on a different table so let's clean those now. Mm -hmm. 
on this side we do have my embroidery side which isn't looking too bad but there's just a couple things out of place that we can fix. So I would say we're about halfway with cleaning my office and I'm not gonna lie I was gonna call it quits already just because I was getting a little bit lazy but the show must go on so let's keep going besides carrying mess the reason why I put this rack here to begin with is so when I have orders and say I have sweatshirt orders shirt orders I can go ahead and place them in order on the rack but since we are in kind of slow season, it just turned into this. So, so I guess it's time to, you know, just attack it. Not me finding Hobby Lobby bags that were supposed to be returned months ago and still end up somewhere in my office. The sweatshirts that I'm placing here are sweatshirts that I have either messed up, that I have extra of, or just random sweatshirts that have never been bought. This one has been messed up and I'm low-key thinking of just throwing it away or just donating it because if someone needs a sweater, they can use it. Bad habit number I don't know what. Finding Amazon packages in your office that you had no clue you had. It's like a gift. It's like Christmas again. Let's open it and see what is in there. Ah, okay. It's a sticker paper. I'll go ahead and restock my sticker paper bin in a sec. Sadly, this is a blanket that I was working on and I messed up, so we're gonna have to throw this in the trash. I definitely would not feel comfortable donating that with random people's faces on it. So for the extra sweaters that I have, I'm going to go ahead and put them under here along with the sweatshirts that are packaged and haven't been sold. So we'll make a room for that. I'll probably end up posting them on my website for like clearance. When though? When do you ask? Hopefully soon. Um, not me moving on to this table when I still haven't finished the rack. Actually, let's... <laughs> Actually, I'm just gonna put these white sweatshirts under here with these ones because they are blank, but you know, white gets very dirty easily and I don't feel comfortable selling these. So I'll probably have an offer for like a discount if someone wants a design made on those. We are in my storage room and it is a little hectic in here again. We do need to show some love, but definitely not today because I am tired. But in here, this is where I keep all my sweatshirt blanks. So I'm gonna go ahead and organize all the sweatshirts that are extra and put them in here. I do have everything organized by size. So here I have my small, medium, large, extra large. And then at the bottom, I have my 2XL and 3XL. Apart from my sweatshirts, I just have random storage, some more storage, more storage, a mess. These are my crates that I use for my pop-ups, and then this paper organizer that I got from Hobby Lobby. My shipping station wasn't too bad, just needed to be cleaned off. Um, at the bottom, I have my Cricut cart where I have my vinyl my heat transfer vinyl and scraps on my shipping station i have this cute little crinkle cut paper the little tabs for my ticket gun normally i have my little tags here but i do need to make some more i have some cute little stickers that i make for whatever season there is water lint rollers because everything gets so linty my thank you cards and then just my little stickers that i had made for a pop-up shop 
And what's left is this rack here, but it's already clean and organized, luckily. On top here, I have my pickup orders. Here I have everything for shipping, packaging, just random little things, and then more shipping stuff. Moving to my front door, we just have all the cutie cups we make, and then along with all the other cups that I offer. Yeah, you guys got a pretty good rundown. I think all there is left to do is to sweep this crusty floor. So let's do that, and that way we can be done. I know cleaning isn't always the funnest thing to do, but I know it always helps me just get a fresh start on all my work and just work more efficiently. And just like that, we are all finished cleaning my office. I am ready for the day and ready to start on my orders. I really hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me for the day and hopefully I was able to give you guys some motivation to clean out your guys' craft rooms slash offices. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video and I will see you guys next time. Bye!